All right, this is a relatively easy and straightforward sentence correction modifier question. So let's get into it. As always, I had to redact certain portions for copyright. So if you'd like to see the full unredacted portion, go ahead and click the link in the description box, go to GMAT Club, try it out and come back when you're ready. Um, great, so let's take a look at A. A journalist, comma, Nellie Bly's exploits included circling the globe faster than Phileas Fogg. Right. So at first, this isn't too bad. You're like, okay, we have this modifier, you know, a pioneer, the word I uh, redacted from all of them is pioneer. So pioneer journalist, right? We've got a comma, and then we have Nellie Bly. So you might think, okay, so a journalist is describing Nellie Bly. But there's an idea here in modification that is tested very often on the GMAT, and that is the possessive. So when you have a noun, and you add a possessive to it, in this case, an apostrophe S, you sort of morph it into a modifier. So in reality, Nellie Bly is no longer uh, the thing that is being described as a pioneer journalist. It's actually the exploits that's being described as a journalist because, again, that possessive turns this essentially into an adjective describing the exploits. So we have a modifier air here, specifically possessive air. Um, if we take a look at um, D, they also have the possessive, but they change the sentence around. We'll just go ahead and jump to D right now. It says included in the journalist Nellie Bly's exploits are circling. So we have an inverted noun verb agreement here. So we have the verb are, and what is included in the journalist Nellie Bly's exploits? It's circling the globe. And circling the globe is just one action. So we wouldn't use are, we would use is. So we can get rid of that. Uh, none of the other ones have the apostrophe S with Nellie Bly's, but this one has, E has it with journalists. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, so E says, the journalist's exploits of Nellie Bly included circling the globe faster. So this is quite tricky. I would say the easiest way to get rid of this would be meaning. When it says that the journalist's exploits of Nellie Bly, it makes it sound like the journalist and Nellie Bly are two different people. But the whole point here is that Nellie Bly is a journalist and that it was her exploits that included circling the globe. So this is implying we've got two different people that is not a logical meaning, so E is out. All right, we are narrowing it down to B and C. Uh, so let's take a look at B. The, uh, the exploits of Nellie Bly, a journalist, included circling the globe faster than Phileas Fogg. So we have this non-essential modifier here, pioneer journalist. It's correctly describing Nellie Bly. And when you have a modifier that's non-essential and you have commas on either side of it, you should be able to cross it off and read the sentence back and have it still make sense. So let's give that a shot. The exploits of Nellie Bly included circling the globe faster than Phileas Fogg. That is correct. There's nothing grammatically incorrect about that sentence and there is no illogical meaning present. So we're gonna hang on to that. Let's take a look at C. Nellie Bly was a journalist, including in her exploits, the circling the globe faster than Phileas Fogg. So definitely this is a lot more awkward than B. Um, here, it's almost like you have two different thoughts. Like Nellie Bly was a journalist, and then they're trying to add this participle modifier here, including in her exploits, the circling the globe. Um, a lot of issues here, the circling the globe is like a very odd way of saying an exploit. Um, it's probably something to do with this double the, it's incredibly awkward, including in her exploits, the circling the globe. It's almost like you would say the circling of the globe, maybe if you wanted to um, structure it like this. And also we have this weird issue where uh, Nellie Bly was a journalist, including in her exploits that this would be describing Nellie Bly was a journalist as if including in her exploits is somehow um, describing how she was a journalist. It doesn't really, it, the meaning of it isn't fully clear. So between these two, B is our winner. 
I think it really came down here to meaning and style, although in addition, we'd probably also want a comma. We were gonna do a participle modifier here, but now I'm just splitting hairs. So of these choices, B is our correct answer. I would say the biggest takeaways um, is the possessive here. It does come up quite often. That is apostrophe S, or if it's plural, sometimes it's just adding an apostrophe. Um, and when you make a noun possessive, it create it essentially morphs it into an adjective, so it becomes a modifier, and so it's the word after the possessive that becomes the thing being described or being modified. If you have any questions about this sentence correction, feel free to ask them in the comments below.